guys, so today I've got the Avene Solar UV Mineral Sunscreen. I've got the tinted version on, and I thought I'd just do a quick first impressions video for you guys and show you guys what it looks like in the UV light. So hopefully I covered my whole face well with it. Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a first impressions of the new Avene Sunscreen that launched uh, within the last couple weeks. I picked up the tinted version. I'm sorry, I really... I like tinted versions because sometimes you can get away without wearing foundation or anything. So I know a lot of people wanted the regular version, but this is the tinted version. I don't know. In the last like couple months, I've tried two of Bean sunscreens. This was their newer one with their new filter in it, which was pretty greasy. Although I will use it on days I'm really outside a lot. But this is their newer version, which is a mineral-based sunscreen for sensitive skin. No fragrance in here. No denatured alcohol. 12% uh, zinc oxide, so here we go. I will say, I thought it was a lot smaller than I was expecting. I don't know, after getting this monstrosity and then seeing this tiny little guy, I was expecting something bigger, but whatever. I know this one's meant for face and body, so I get it. So this one's meant for face. So here we go. Giving it a good shake. You always should give it, give it a good shake. It's got some nice antioxidants in here. Um... No seal on it. I know a lot of people will ask about that later. Does it come with a seal on it? No, it's got a uh, needle point dispenser. The tint shade is pretty deeper than I thought, but a lot of times once you smooth them in, they don't look so deep. So there we go. I know I got to really focus around my hairline because I know... I have a tendency to not focus that well on that area. And around my eyes. Around my eyes, I know I have a tendency to kind of skip that area a bit. So I'm really going to do a little bit extra around the hairline. Because I know from that UV camera I've been playing with, I have a tendency to really totally miss that area. I will say I don't think my skin loves trying new sunscreens on all the time. So, anyway, there we go. It feels a little sticky. Certainly hydrating. But, uh, feels nice. So, there we go. We'll see, we'll judge the protection today. It has SPF 50. Generally, the rule with zinc oxide is you can get about one and a half percent per percent of zinc oxide, one and a half percent protection. So generally like 12% would be usually like around 30, but that's not the end all be all rule. It's just a general rule of thumb, um, but it has some nice ingredients in here. Certainly hydrating. If you have acne prone skin, I probably wouldn't recommend it because I instantly right off the bat see jojoba esters, which can be pretty acneogenic for some people. Sunflower extract, elecithin, rice brand extract, visible lantolin, vitamin E, some good skin soothing ingredients. So if you really want to boost the protection, use a nice vitamin C serum underneath it. That will help always your skin fight off free radicals. So, so far, it feels nice. I can tell it's going to sink into fine lines, but I think setting with a little bit of powder will help. So that's my first impressions. I'm going to walk around with it today and see what else, and I'll leave more in the comments. But the tint is pretty friendly. I have pretty pale skin, and it looks pretty dark when you dispense it, but it seems to give skin a bit of a glow, which is nice. And uh, very hydrating, a little bit of shine, but a little bit of powder will help. So anyway, there's my first impressions. I'll definitely do a uh, full review after I have a longer chance to use it, but so far in the first five minutes of using it, it feels nice. My skin is pretty dry, but it is pretty humid out, so I have a feeling, I mean, it says water resistant for 40 minutes, but I have a feeling um, not very sweat resistant. If you want a good sweat resistant sunscreen, and Nessa's sunscreens actually have a technology where it gets stronger when you sweat, it protects better. So, and also fern block helio care type pills. It's like the one supplement I believe in because it actually has proven research. So I don't believe in biotin or any of that stuff. You take it, whatever, I don't care, but fern block is the one proven thing. So anyway, there we go. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Interested if you guys are picking it up or trying it out. So i uh, leave a comment. Oh, there's like in the background. He's kind of cranky today. He's going to go swimming at dad's house later, so he'll be happy then. Okay, thank you guys. Bye-bye.